Hi, welcome to the world of driving electric. My name is Brandon and I'm the host of the YouTube channel, Be Energized. So for today's video, I wanna welcome you to the new and exciting world of driving an electric vehicle. Whether you are shopping for an electric vehicle or if you already bought one and you're new and you're just kind of curious about what this world entails, this video is exactly for you, so stay tuned. So let's start with the basics regarding charging standards. The very first charging standard you should understand and know is what they call the J1772. And you can call it that, or you can call it a level two charger, whatever, whatever you want. <laughs> so basically what the J1772 is the most common form of a charging standard here in the United States. You're gonna find this mostly on home charging stations as well as other public charging stations as well. Now, the majority of electric vehicles come with this standard, standard, but there are other exceptions such as a Tesla product that does not come with the J1772. So it's good to remember that. The next charging standard will go with the Tesla charging standard. Now this is a proprietary charging standard that Tesla has only on their vehicles. You can find this charging standard at their supercharger locations, their destination charger locations, uh, on their mobile connector that comes with the vehicle, as well as their wall charger that you can buy from their online website. Now keep in mind this charging standard only works specifically with Tesla unless you purchase an online adapter. So just keep that in mind, only Tesla vehicles can use this charging standard. The next charging standard is what they call the CCS. Now this is a dual charger combo. And what that means is if you look at it, it kind of looks like the J1772 up top. That's because it is the same standard. But what makes this different is that at the bottom of the CCS, there is a direct connect or a direct current uh, two pin location at the bottom of this that connects directly to your vehicle. Now keep in mind, the majority of electric vehicles besides Tesla and a few Nissan products have the CCS. Some are standard, some are optional. So just be familiar with the vehicle you're either shopping for or you already own in order to use the CCS. But basically how this works is when you find a charging station and plug in using a CCS charger or standard, it connects directly to your battery pack. So when you plug it in, it takes direct current, it bypasses the onboard inverter and puts electricity directly into your battery pack. This is good to charge most vehicles from zero to 80% in about 30 minutes. Pretty impressive. So the fourth and final charging standard is known as the Chatham charging standard. And basically this is on the same level as the previously mentioned CCS charging standard. So the Chatham is a DC fast charger that is found at the majority of DC fast charging stations across the country. Now keep in mind a lot of the newer electric vehicles are coming with the CCS charging standard versus the Chatham standard. However, there are some Nissan products and Mitsubishi products that have the Chatham standard as a standard option on your vehicle. So just keep that in mind. The majority of the electric vehicles are going to be using the other standards, but the Chatham is a good one to know. Well, that's gonna be it for today's episode of EV 101. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and share with your friends and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, it means a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot and definitely enjoy your new electric vehicle. Take care guys.